Reacher, of course, uh, February 4th on Amazon Prime Video. Jack Reacher, based on the series uh, from author Lee Child, the, the popular novel series. Of course, the movie with Tom Cruise as well. Uh, when you got the call that you got this role for the lead as, as Jack Reacher, man, what was your reaction? I cried. <laughs> <laughs> um, I couldn't believe it. I mean, it was a very competitive process. Um, it was, uh, it was a, you know, what, what, what a lot of people don't know is, is uh, I, I was passed on the first time around. Uh, I was approached to, you know, put a tape together for this. Uh, I was sent a couple scenes and, um, you know, I did my best with it. It went to producers. So, you know, there was something there. Um, but, you know, uh, months, you know, months went by and, uh, you know, we didn't hear anything, which, you know, it just means that it didn't work out. About six months later, I get a call um, that uh, there was a new casting director on board, a new set of sides, so new new scenes uh, to work with. And um, the casting director had, uh, the new one had looked through all the tapes that went to producers uh, from the first round and had had handpicked a few that she wanted to see again, that she felt like maybe, you know, with some new, new scenes and new direction could kind of, you know, maybe, um, uh, you know, could continue on. And it was, uh, you know, it, it became very competitive then. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm, I just feel lucky to, you know, that that it came back around. It's something that never happens in this business. Um, and, I, you know, I, there's a bit of a chip on my shoulder. I wanted to prove myself. Um, <clears throat> the difficult thing about Reacher is he can be rather stoic and, uh, and say very little. Reacher said nothing, obviously, a, a famous phrase from the books. Um, and in the books, you know, we get to live inside his head. So there's, uh, you know, Lee has a way around him saying nothing, but us getting that information on screen, that's very difficult. And so when you're trying to audition this, uh, it's a little tough to, to know how, to, you know, which, which side of Reacher we, we want to see when he's, um, he's, he's, he's silent. And the, the first round of auditions was sort of aiming for that. And, you know, I'd say nothing for pages. It's, it was, it was tough. The second time around, the scenes were totally different and it was uh, more interactive and, you know, I had had more to get my hands around. So, um, you know, I just uh, I feel very lucky. And, uh, you know, a f you know, a few months later, um, you know, you know I, I get the call. I was up in my cabin and um, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd read all the books at that point and had fallen in love with the series and really wanted it. And um, and just couldn't, you know, I was speechless. In terms of physically preparing for this role, what kind of transformation did you have to go through? What kind of work did you have to put in to prepare for the role to be Jack Reacher? Yeah, it was, uh, <clears throat> it was like hitting that, uh, the coin box in Mario and that, yeah, I needed the mushroom to <laughs> pop out so I could size up a little bit. Um, it was just about leveling up a little. So, uh, you know, I walk around at kind of a comfortable, for, for my build, kind of a comfortable average weight. And, um, uh, you know, we decided, we're, you know, uh, I needed to throw on 30 pounds. Um, I had eight months to do it. So I just started working out hard five days a week and, um, and trying to add the weight, you know? And so we got there, um, by the time we started shooting, I was there. And, uh, I think, you know, his physicality plays an important role in this and uh, the fans have longed for that for a long time. And, uh, it was important that we, we gave them, you know, what they, what they, what they're craving, you know? So, um, I, I think hopefully we got it there in time. The trailer itself on, on Amazon's YouTube channel has like 4.3 million views. If you add up all the oh, other really? you know, sites, yeah, that, that have it, it's like it's got to be well over like 5 million views combined or more, or more across YouTube and all these different platforms. This is pretty freaking awesome on your end, right? I looked at the comments and there are so many people that are happy. There are Jack Reacher fans that are like, yes, this is the representation of Jack Reacher. He's supposed to be 6'5 and Jack and this and that. And there's the other people who have been fans of yours for a long time, you know, from Ninja Turtles to Titans oh, wow. to all the other great work that you, you've done. So how does it feel so far without the show even being out yet at the time we're recording this to get love from the Jack Reacher fans and from the fans that have followed you pretty much every step of the way? It feels good, man. I mean, you know, if it's great. It's great to, you know, to feel like you're, you know, you're in the right place at the right time. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, it's about the work to me, you know, it's about, you know, the, we're, so far, people are fixated on on one attribute of Reacher, which is one that's really out of my control, largely. You know, my genetics are my genetics. If I happen to look like Reacher, it wasn't because I did anything. Um, you know, so what I care about is what's in, you know, what I have control over. And, and that's the essence uh, and characteristics of Reacher that, you know, you get when you're inside a scene. And uh, I, um, I, I poured every ounce of, of love and energy that I had into the scenes. And I, I you know, I, I, 
I, as a fan myself, I, I think it's, I think you see Reacher on screen. Um, I hope people agree, but that's the litmus test for me is when people have, have binged the series, uh, will they still, um, uh, will they still be, you know, feel comfortable with this, um, this casting choice? I, I hope so. Um, I'm optimistic, um, but you know, time will tell. One of the clips that's making rounds uh, for media and fans and everything is the epic prison scene. <laughs> You got uh, to, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, in the first episode, you actually had a couple of them, you know, where he, you got in the bunk bed and you know, whoop that guy's ass and everything. But then you had another one that was a little, a little bit crazier, not to, to give too much away yet. How yeah. long did it take to, to film all that? Uh, well, the, to film it, you know, that's the funny thing about this business. You know, we spend a couple months tr- training for, for that moment, um, perfecting everything, making sure that every, every split second is accounted for and um, everybody's in the right place at the right time so that when we get to set and those cameras are there, no, no time is wasted because of us. You know, if there's a, if there's a problem with a light or a lens, like that's, that's fine. But as long as it's not our fault, you know, we don't want to slow the day down. Um, we, we had one day to shoot that fight. Um, we spent the entire day shooting that fight and uh, I was uh, beyond spent at the end of that day um, walking through that uh, as many times as we did. But um it was, you know, it was with great joy to know that, you know, one of the most iconic fights in the series is um, was in the can and I felt like we got it right. Um, and now people are, are starting to enjoy it, um, you know, as 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 we did. So, you know, it feels good. It feels good. Awesome. Well, before we let you go, of course, people could check out Reacher February 4th, Amazon Prime Video. We always like to ask our guests some kind of random rapid fire questions. Are you ready? Sure. Favorite cheat meal? Oh, uh, sweet butter cake from Mastro's. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Hypothetically speaking, what would be Jack's favorite spa in Margrave? His favorite spa? His favorite spot, like his favorite place to oh, eat. Oh, he's at spa. Reacher in a spa, I cannot see. Uh, it's, uh, no massages for this dude. Um, <laughs> uh, his favorite spot in Margrave. Um, I think uh, I think uh, the barbershop. Makes sense. That's that's some good conversation. Source source of information. It's the hub of info. Um, People like to talk, but it's also a place to lay back and be yourself. It's a barbershop all day. (laughs) One line in in the pilot was, uh, yo, Jack Reacher, no middle name. Hypothetically speaking, what would be Jack Reacher's middle name? None. I mean, there is no, (laughs) I mean, how can we give him, um, I don't know. We give him a nickname, Jack the Beast Reacher. I don't know. (laughs) How do you make Jack Reacher more intimidating? I don't. (laughs) That's fair. That's fair. All-time favorite movie. Oh, oh man. Oh, there's so many. La La Land is one. Okay. Um, I'm obsessed with La La Land. I love musicals. And uh <laughs> to see let's 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 find Reacher in a musical someday. I think that's uh that's gonna be the season that kills. Um okay. but uh Goonies was was one of my all-time favorite movies too. It was, you know, just a product of the era. Without giving too much away about the series, was there anything you learned about the character or yourself as an actor in the filming of Reacher? Yes, uh, I learned that sugar glass is horse. Uh, sugar glass hurts probably ten times more than real glass, and I know because I took that vase in the head and I had a beanie on and I was still bleeding. Uh, sugar glass to the head, no bueno. And uh, the stunt guys told me afterwards as I was mopping the blood off my face. Like I didn't think that this would do this to me. And like, oh yeah, sugar glass sends a lot of dudes to the hospital. People don't realize how bad it hurts. Can you guys tell me that before I get smashed in the face <laughs> with it, please? Next time, um, a lot of miscommunication there. Um, or actually, it wasn't miscommunication. They knew it. They knew it. It was going to happen. They just. Uh, it was my initiation into that club. You know, <laughs> sugar glass hurts like hell. That's what I'm saying. Hey, you got through it. E for effort, <laughs> and we'll get you out of here on this. And one line or less. Why should people check out Reacher on Amazon Prime Video? It's going to be the best show on TV. There you go. Alan, thank you so much for your time. It was an absolute pleasure. Definitely looking forward to checking out the rest of the series. Thanks, man. Nice talking to you.